What football is to Green Bay or hockey is to Detroit, racing is to Charlotte. Here, racing reaches out to almost everyone. And now everyone is reaching out to racing. For popular team owner Rick Hendrick, success was not built on performance. Success was built with people. What happens with that organization is you become family real quick. Our team was really in hock, really out of money, and Rick Hendrick stepped up and funded the last half of my championship run in 1989. So really, Rick has more. He always jokes with me, he's got a half a championship in me. I'd give anything to that man. He's just wonderful. Loves his family, loves his friends, and uh, has had extreme success, and yet can sit down with you and, and talk about the smallest of things. And I think that's kind of the person we all want to be. And, uh, you know, he's, he's certainly been somebody that I've looked up to for a long time. In NASCAR history, only two organizations have won more races than Hendrick. It is not just one of the most successful operations in motorsports. It is one of the most successful operations in all of sports. And now Rick and his storied franchise try to find a way to move on without four of his most valuable employees. He has influenced so many uh, car owners, crew chiefs, crew members, drivers throughout the history of our sport. Um, that it was, it's almost as if there's a touch of Rick in every team. I have so much respect for what Rick has done for the sport and so much respect for him. He's a, a tough individual. He's been through a lot. Rick Hendricks is a survivor and uh, he'll, he'll keep going. John Hendrick became a familiar face in the racing world in 1997 when he agreed to help out his brother and take the reins while Rick fought health problems. John preferred the shadows to the spotlight, saying he was simply a short-term fill-in. His seen-but-not-heard style in the garage led to speculation that John was simply a stand-in and not a decision-maker. That was not the case. I think, you know, he was truly the only guy that could have stepped in and done the job that he did uh, uh, because he immediately got the, the confidence of everybody there uh, and everybody respected him and, and uh, looked up to him and, and uh, you know when he said something they listened when rick hendrick returned to the organization in 1999 john stayed on as president he had his 22 year old twin daughters flying with him to martinsville the three were common traveling companions kimberly graduated from the university of north carolina at wilmington in may and was working in the business management field Jennifer had just graduated from the University of North Carolina at Charlotte in August and recently started working in the marketing department at Hendrick Motorsports. Ricky Hendrick was the future of Hendrick Motorsports. He had both his father's name and his game. Ricky didn't just have racing in his blood, he had it in his heart. In his brief career as a driver, he won a truck race in Kansas in July of 2001 at the age of 21. He retired a year later after attempting a comeback following a crash in the Bush Series. He took a management role at Hendrick Motorsports and remembered racing against the talented 19-year-old Brian Vickers. He put Vickers in the car he used to drive, and the combination raced right to the Bush Series championship last season. You know, last Sunday was a, was a sad day. It was a sad day for a lot of people, and... Uh, you know, obviously I lost a dear friend. He had that Hendrick quality that you can't really explain. To this day, the last time he saw me, he called me sir, and I just never forget that. He kept calling me Mr. Schrader, and I told him that finally, I said, listen, Ricky, we're going to have a terrible problem if you keep calling me Mr. Schrader. My name's Ken. He said, okay, Mr. Schrader. And it didn't matter if it was me walking by him, or it didn't matter if it was a cleanup crew from the racetrack. He, he always was so respectful and so polite. Jeff Turner started with Brick Hendrick in 1984. He worked his way up through the organization and was named general manager in 2002, overseeing the day-to-day -day operations of Hendrick Motorsports. He was viewed as the company problem solver. Jeff Turner is remembered as a family man, as well as a company man, a man who had a lot of answers. And when someone needed help, Turner never said no. Randy Dorton was the power behind the performance at Hendrick Motorsports. In 1984, Rick Hendrick started buying motors from Dorton's company. Then he bought the company and hired Dorton. 
Randy earned the respect of his teams and the envy of other teams. He has been called a genius by the competition. His work ethic was passionate but polite. His approach was simple. Take the best people, get the best parts, provide the best power. Probably one of my fondest memories of Randy was at Talladega. He was uh, my crew chief for a couple of weeks there during the 97 season. And we went to Charlotte, and I think we finished uh, the 10th or something. We went to Talladega and we won the race. And I patted him on the back, and I said, you know, it's... Uh, Pretty neat, you being the crew chief. We went because I knew I was going to have the best motor when we got here. And, uh, <laughs> but uh, he was uh, he was just a, a unbelievable guy and, and, a, and a real friend. Randy had been at the Martinsville track on Saturday, but returned home to have dinner with his wife Diane. It was their eighth wedding anniversary. You can usually find someone that has said something or has found a small fault in someone and I'm sure that Randy had something somewhere but I can that's the one person in my life that I can think of that I never heard anybody say anything negative about 